No, you sounded better a second Welcome ago. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Welcome back. So we want to get the most out of our groceries. So many times that means freezing some items mm -hmm. to use later. Absolutely. Makes when sense. it's on sale, you know, yeah. you get that item, you put it in the freezer, don't you? Yeah. But if you're not careful, that food can get freezer burned and not taste so great when it's thawed. So I'm testing out a hack for that. This is a hack that I saw online that is a cheap and easy way to vacuum seal your bags so you don't have to buy any fancy gadgets or any expensive bags. Apparently all you need is a pot of water and a regular Ziploc bag. So I'm just gonna use tomatoes because it's what I happen to have on hand. Put them in a bag. And then all you do is you zip seal it all the way just leave like an inch on the end and then you apparently submerge the bag in water all the way and then you zip up the rest of it and hmm, I think that worked a bit it kind of sucked a lot of the air out of it that that way when you put it in the freezer you get most of that air out and it combats freezer burn so in just one quick quick try there I would say that this hack worked I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up that was really simple I feel like yeah. you sh like there's science the breakdown this. of the science yeah you, something uh, about like the pressurization of like something with the water and the like it's a thing I well because like. of buoyancy the air molecules will rise up so when you He's put that inside up. yeah oh, that's pretty cool totally I thought, I thought made that up for some reason for some reason I trust you you don't, a lot of he, you don't think he's making it up? I just, I just don't trust that, Ryan. I you don't. think he's making it up? I know he is. <laughs> he's making it up. They're more... Boy, whatever. Oh, so now there you don't want to explain it. There is science behind <laughs> it. When I when I saw the hack, yeah. someone wrote about it. In, in but a, you're right, in because the Ryan pressure, like, because the water creates pressure around mm -hmm. those tomatoes. And But if we tried to push it down our hands, you leave those air yes, pockets. The exactly. water kind of moves around. Yes, yeah. so, uh, you know, it's one way to get at least a little bit more of that air out versus you know, buying one of those vacuum <laughs> sealer contraptions yes. or one of those expensive but bags. You need to, but you need to buy a little bit, of, you need to buy a freezer bag, it looks like you had there. I had a freezer bag, but the um, uh, the instructions said it could be any Ziploc bag. So you can do more than just veggies, though. Yeah, the, the example I saw was meat. So, oh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you could, you could, whatever you would put in the freezer, you know, just dunk it in water. Because first. it is yeah. really frustrating. You're right. Because you try to get as much air out air of there, and then get, you yeah. go to like close it up, and then the air gets back. You're like, yeah. come on. <laughs> <laughs> that is frustrating. Exactly. So a nice hack. We can give a thumbs up to Yeah, you, I think I give that one a, a thumbs up. And I think uh, that was like a real quick, like, yeah. maybe if I even focused. I was waiting for you because when we said the word vacuum seal, I was waiting for you to like get an iron out or something. And like, See, that's too thing. much. That's too much. At that point, oh, at that easy. point, you might as well just buy the vacuum. Well, you're doing a you're doing a shirt. Do a do a thing of tomatoes. Do a I don't at the same it time. Works that way. Yeah. I no. think I would say speaking of maybe multitasking or because if you're going to no. use that water, I filled up a pot of water, mm -hmm. so you don't want to be wasteful. That is true. So maybe if you're going to boil some potatoes or pasta or something, maybe do all of your vacuum Make sealing at the same or, time. Oh, I you, would agree with that. Or you can <laughs> soak a chia pet in it. Inside I joke. saw a chia pet <laughs> in the weather center. Did you get one as a gift? I did, but it, uh, I, we opened the box and there wasn't seeds inside. We're devastated oh. right now. So we got the pet and no chia. It's so like, if anybody has any extra chia seeds, yeah, let me know. It's like peanut butter with no jelly. Yeah, it's it doesn't. Terrible. Never had it. Oh, my goodness. You okay. All right.